Hello everyone, I welcome you all once again to my YouTube channel Commerce Treasure where we discuss various topics relating to commerce. So in the last video we were discussing University of Mysore PG Entrance Examination 2022. We have already discussed the first 34 questions in two parts. If you have not seen those questions, I am putting the link into the description as well as in the i button to watch those videos. And without wasting much time, let us go to the last 16 questions of this paper. The difference between the maximum and the minimum values of a given series is called as class interval, no, spread, no, frequency, no. So the right answer is option number D, range. Range is nothing but the difference between the highest value and the lowest value or maximum value and the minimum value. Spread is nothing but the difference between the bid and the ask price when we discuss about foreign exchange or foreign exchange currency. Frequency is the number of times a thing or an event has occurred. What is the probability of getting odd numbers when a dice is thrown? So in a dice, there are two types of number, odd number and even number. Odd numbers are 1, 3 and 5 and even number are 2, 4 and 6. Now let us see what is the probability of odd number. So total there are how many outcomes in a dice when we throw, there are total 6 outcomes. 3 odd and 3 even. Now we want the possibility of odd number. So what is the chance of odd number? 1, 2 and 3. So 3 divided by 6 is nothing but 1 by 2. So the correct answer is option number A. 1 by 2 is a probability of getting an odd number. Which of the following sampling method is a probability method? So in sampling, we have two types of method, probability based method and non probability based method. In probability based method, we have simple random sampling, we have systematic sampling, multi-stage sampling, cluster sampling and stratified sampling. And in case of non-probability sampling, we have quota sampling, judgment sampling, convenience sampling, accidental sampling, snowball sampling. So in this question, probability based sampling is simple random sampling. For two variables x and y, maximum number of regression lines will be. So whenever there are two variables, the maximum number of regression lines will be 2. That is, in this case, x on y is one regression line and y on x is another regression line. So option number b, 2 is the correct answer for this question. If a is equal to x, y and z and then the number of subsets in the power set of A is going to be. So power set is nothing but a set which includes all the possible outcomes of a subset. So let us see if we have A is equal to X, Y and Z. What are the different power sets of this? So power sets will be first X, Y, Z as it is we can have. Then we can have X and Y. We can have X and Z. We can have Y and Z. We can have only Y only z, only x or there can be a null set, nothing in that particular set. So how many subsets are possible? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So option number A8 is the correct answer for this question. Differentiation of log x is x 1 by x, x square 2x. So correct answer is 1 by x. Differentiation of any number is 1 by x. The simple interest on Rs. 2500 for 3 years at 12% interest per annum is 450, 600, 750, 900. So let us see the formula for simple interest which is PTR divided by 100 where P stands for principal amount. So in this case principal amount is 2500. T stands for time. Time in this case is 3 years and R stands for rate of interest which is 12 divided by 100. So 0, 0 gets cancelled. 25 into 3 is 75 and 75 into 12 is 900. So option number D, 900 is the correct answer for this question. What is the fourth proportional to 2, 7 and 8? So always we have to remember proportion is in the form of A is to B and C is to D where a and D are equal and B and C are equal. So in this case, 2 is to 7 is to 8 is to question mark. So 7 into 8 is equal to 2 into question mark. 
so therefore question mark is equal to 7 into 8 divided by 2 that is 56 divided by 2 is 28 which is your option number b recruitment is concerned with the process of selection of right candidate no developing a pool of potential employees can be possible inviting applications of job can be possible none of the above not there so option number b and c both seems to be correct but if i have to choose one i will go with option number c that is inviting applications for job that is called as recruitment you create a pool of employees you develop a pool of employees from which you have to select which of the following is an internal source of finance factoring no trade credit no retained earnings yes so retained earnings is nothing but it is that part of profit which you have not shared as a dividend to the shareholders you retain you keep it with yourself for future growth purpose so it is an internal source of finance financial management is concerned with all aspects of acquiring and utilizing financial resources for firms activity arrangement of funds efficient management of every business profit maximization so all the points are concerned to financial management the best point is option number a it deals with acquisition of the funds and using of that firms for different activities an individual who starts and manages a new enterprise is called as very very simple he is called as an entrepreneur a person who starts a new business is an entrepreneur which of the following is known as corporate venturing acquisition entrepreneurship merger none of the above so option number b entrepreneurship is also known as corporate venturing when you venture you take risk to start a new venture or a new business edp entrepreneurship development program course contains general introduction to entrepreneurs definitely it contains motivational training it contains managerial skills also it contains so option number d all of the above is a correct answer for this question which of the following is not a characteristic of entrepreneurship risk taking definitely it is a characteristic innovation he has to be innovative managerial training creative activity he has to be creative so managerial training option number c is not a characteristic of entrepreneurship the last question of this paper is entrepreneurs take moderate risk calculated risk no risk heavy risk so always remember entrepreneurs are one who takes calculated risk and they get returns or sometimes even incur losses for that risk. So option number B is the correct answer for this question. So this is all about the 2022 Mysore University MCOM entrance paper. If you have any doubts regarding to this paper, you can comment me in the comment box. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends so that they can also take the advantage of this video. Thank you for watching this video and we shall meet again with another video.